If you're going to be cutting a thread, one of the most important things to do before you start is make sure that this little washer down here, let's see if we can point it out right there, that fat washer has to come off and move to the other side of this gear. That enables this gear to then mesh with that gear. If you don't do this, your threads won't work. They'll be close, but they won't work. Now we want to cut 13 threads per inch. So we're going to need two gears to do that. The 52 tooth gear and the 36 tooth gear. We'll also have to set this knob to the number one position and this knob to the B position. So the 36 tooth gear is going to go where this gear is now and the 52 tooth gear is going to go where this gear is now. But don't forget the little washer, the fat washer behind here behind this gear is going to go in front of this gear now. If we don't do that, it's not going to work. It's a really good idea to slow things down before you start the threading process. You want to give yourself some reaction time in case things go wrong. So, this is a little tool I made for my chuck so I can move this around, make it a little bit easier to Get the belts on and off. Take that belt off and put the smaller belt on the top pulleys. That one and this one. That usually goes well without this tool. And that will slow the lathe down. So maybe we'll go over this chart one more time, just for an example. It doesn't really matter whether uh, you're cutting a, a half 13 or a 1 inch 13 if there's such a thread. Uh, the size doesn't matter. It's the same gears will produce the same number of threads. Just in case you're wondering what this bar is, it's an attachment that allows you to cut left-handed threads. It allows the lathe to run backwards. And we're going to cover that uh, probably, uh, well, I'm not sure, but we'll get to that. And if you, uh, if you subscribe, you will be notified when that happens. If you'd like to be notified of other new modifications, please click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.